Hello all. In continuation of the lecture series, we will proceed with the uh, next queue type, and the next queue type is the day letter queue. And oh, uh, we will learn about the uh, what is the properties of day letter queue, how to create day letter queue, and uh, what are the possible cases where message will go to day letter queue, and everything about the day letter queue. So you don't need to worry about the day letter queue, and we will. Uh, we, we will uh, get everything in details the letter queue is just like a local queue the letter queue is just like a local queue but uh, it act as a backup the failure message in case some unhandled exceptions occur in case some uh, not normal thing happen then message will go to the local queue we will learn about the in what cases it will go to local queue so and we will go to the letter queue it is just like a local queue you need to create a local queue and you can use it as a uh, uh, letter queue in just 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 like uh, we are using creating the uh, local queue and using the transmission queue uh, then in similar manner we are you can use create a local queue and we can use as a letter queue it holds the message that cannot deliver to any receptions it's it's message already told you it hold a message because some had unhandled exception offered and we are not able to send the message to the destination system that's the reason we are keeping the message and also one thing you need to know that for one queue manager there is only one data letter queue the, if you have 10 queue managers then the queue data letter queue will be 10 in simple the, for a single queue manager we are keeping uh, and we, we we will also see uh, how we can figure uh, the queue how, how can we say that one queue manager should have one queue uh, one dead letter queue let me show you once you go to the queue here you, uh, let me create the local queue one local queue and uh, let me queue max two dot dlq I am writing this thing because uh, for the, uh, I can read easily and same same way it will take all properties from the local queue and click on next you click here persistent and it is not required but if you want to make message not lost then you can keep it and click on finish you can see here the queue has been created that is the local queue queue max to the tail queue it is similar like the local queue but what how can you say that this is a day later queue and also for the one queue measure there you there must be a one uh, day later queue how can you say that uh, for that for, for making this is a day later queue and uh, uh, and for one queue manager there is a only one data letter queue you need to go to the queue manager click on write you go to the properties of that the queue manager go to the extended here you can see the option of data letter queue here whatever you have you given here whatever you given here will be used as a data letter queue for that queue manager that's the reason i told you for one queue manager there should be only one uh, there should be only one uh, day letter queue because uh, you can see here there is only one space of the day letter queue and what will be let me select that that, that queue i have made that queue i have select here and apply and okay you can directly click okay also that will work in same manner so i have this i have defined this as a local day letter queue and if you want to see here, you just go into properties and see, you will now see here letter queue. And okay, and that's about the delete queue. And let me show you about the uh, in what cases uh, it will go to the letter queue. In case, uh, let us example uh, uh, application A is sending the message and somehow application a sending a message to uh, this queue application a sending message to the this local queue and somehow the put is invited or let us sample application a sending a message to this local alias queue 
uh, somehow put is inhibited for that queue so what will happen message will try to send but it will not be message as the put is inhibited message will be not uh, taken by the application b and even our system a local queue will not able to take so that that message will go to the deleter queue in case application a is trying to send a message and in case our uh, alias queue put is invaded so application that in that case message will be get, goes to the deleter queue because we are not allowing that message to the, go to the our uh, our uh, our local queue because we have invited the put the put means we are not allowing that message into that queue in that case it will there is a handle exception occurred and we we will send the message to the uh, uh, we will send the message to the dead letter queue there is one uh, more in case if you see here uh, a property of in any local queue if you go to the local queue just uh, and uh, you go to extended you can see here the max queue depth is 5000 and maximum message like the length is this in byte in case application a let's see let's say clear that uh, application in case application a sends a message to that local queue and application b will receive that in case application a sends a message more than 5000 suddenly and uh, application b uh, and the local queue has that the depth of only 5000 what will happen in that case you will not handle the more than 5000 message then those message more than 5000 will go to deleter in case you depth will be greater than 5000 then if the application is sends a message more than 5000 and you can see here as written message message of the queue local greater than the maximum queue depth in case message sent by the application is greater than 5000 and message become 5 more than 5000 then whatever the maximum depth if i make it 50000 and if uh, application a sends more than uh, 50000 then it will go to the deleter queue in similar manner there is some size let's example it is whatever with the size let's say it is a 40 mb if in case application a sends a message more than 40 mb size length or for whatever we select let's me so what is the size of that with the whole chrome and if you see here white It is a 4 MB. It is a 4 MB size. The 4.9 MB. And that is the default size uh, given by the IBM. The in case it is more uh, greater than 4.19 MB, uh, message is sent by the source. It will uh, uh, it will not handled by that queue and message will go to the dead letter queue. For that reason, we we mainly keep the dead letter queue size very high we in that case we mainly we queue the letter size 5 lakh and size also of that queue we keep very high so that so that uh, this uh, in case of any unhandle exception occur the message will go to that queue that's the reason we keep that so much high the in short way we can see that he did a uh, dead letter queue just for one queue measure there is only one dead letter queue in case maximum depth is greater than the local queue then it will go to the dead letter queue in case the size of the message greater than the de de defined by the local queue that it will go to the dead letter queue and uh, uh, this queue has very high we kept very large uh, maximum depth and the size is also high so that it will go to the dead letter queue 
and that's all the daily letter queue we will learn more about the queue in the next lecture and for that for now we are closing for that lecture